thing that's important to note about openings is that they are considered children of a parent surface. So the way that Energy Plus finds the openings in the wall and knows the orientation is by locating first the wall itself and then locating what is uh, a child of that surface. So as a result of that, in order for it to know where a window is, the window must be completely coplanar, that is this, in the same plane as the wall, and it can't extend to the edge of the wall. These are two rules that can't be changed. So you always, always, always must have a window within the wall. And actually, this is kind of neat. When you draw a window, it will automatically make that blue uh, so you know that it's a window. And, um, and um, if you were to draw it from the edge, so like this, it would not make it blue. So you know that that's a mistake. That's bad. Uh, and so I'm going to delete those lines because we'll get lots of strange errors if we do that. So we want to align this window to the proper uh, vertical axis. My tape measure is a good way of drawing guidelines. So if I click on an edge and then move vertically, it will, um, it will create a guideline. See that, that dotted line there? And so if I press shift, and then so it stays vertical and then go over to the edge where my window head is I can drop a guideline at the head and I'll do the same thing at the sill down there and then I can move my window to snap to that line like oh I didn't grab from the edge there like that and then I can I can delete these guidelines over there. So um, and then I want to do the same thing to this this edge. And the way I can do this is also I I, I um, press T for tape measure and go up, press Shift, and then I can align it to that edge again to there and then make a rectangle in that edge. I guess I'll make three discrete um, windows here and I can either use my plan or my section here to, to do that and I can use the same method with guidelines to drop in the edges of those Fins, so I know where the the window should go. So I'm going to go ahead and make this middle window first by aligning these edges with my guidelines, and now I can copy that window to the other two positions here by double clicking on it, clicking M or Move, and then pressing Control to do from the other side to copy them. Now this one, the way I've done it, looks like a very close fit to this edge. And I want to really make sure that it's not touching the edge. Uh, I might even nudge this over a little bit just to make sure. Um, yeah. So um, you get the idea, and uh, I need to do the same process along this facade here. So I'm going to do that uh, real quickly here. I'm going to add guidelines here, here, and here. I guess I'll do one more here. And adjust this window accordingly. And now I want to copy that one, two, three, four times. So I'm going to um, double click on that again, press M, control, click there, and press 4X. See that in the bottom right? And it copies it four times. 
uh, which is a nice way of uh, arraying a window. I'm going to do that again here. So now I've got my line of windows on the west side of the building. Okay, so now I've got a thermal zone with windows in it, and that will cause heat gain and heat loss. This is a good time to save. In fact, I probably haven't been saving enough. It's really important that you save because Open Studio has a really bad Control Z uh, functionality. It often will not let you go back, and um, I really encourage you to save as, met, as much as possible. And there's a good versioning technique I use that will help you to do this. I'm going to click on this Save As button. And in this folder, I'm going to create, you see I've started this numbering system. This is going to be 0, 1, and I'm just going to um, name what I've done so far. So I'm going to call this 0, 1, underscore, base geometry, dot IDF, and save it. And really, these are very small files, so you can keep saving versions after version after version, and just keep that numerical sequence so that you can always go back by going to a former file. It's never a bad idea, too, because there's some strange things that go on with OpenStudio, to clear the geometry and reload it in order to make sure that everything you did was uh, stuck, I guess, or saved properly. So I'm going to click on this new Energy Plus file, which is going to... Um, it's going to get rid of all of my old Energy Plus geometry, but you see the SketchUp geometry stays. Now I'm going to open the uh, 0, 0, 01 base geometry.idf and hopefully it will import it correctly right where it was. I click no, and voila, it's there. That's a great sign. So that's a good place to leave this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we'll look at adding context, such as trees and other buildings, to this model.